In today's video, we're going to be working on round each number to the nearest hundred. Use place value to round whole numbers, okay? So on the right hand side, we have if the tens digit is less than five, then the number is rounded down. Simply change the tens and ones digits to zero. If the tens digit is five or more, the number is rounded up. Simply add one to the hundreds digit and change the tens and one digits to zero. And so, and once again, we have the arrows there. Four, three, two, one, zero, we're rounding down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're rounding up, okay? And when we're rounding hundreds, we're always gonna be looking at the tens place, okay? We're always gonna be looking at the tens place when we're rounding, okay? So for number one, we have 430. So we have 400, 410, 420, 430. So we have 430 there. We're gonna go ahead and count. Is it closer to 400 or is it gonna be closer to 500, okay? We can go up for 10, for 20, for 30. It's only three spaces. And to get to 500, it's gonna take us seven spaces, okay? So we know that we're gonna round, so we're gonna round down to 400. Also, we look at our arrows and we look at our tens place, which is three. And if we're looking at our arrow where it's three, it says we're rounding down. So that's why we're rounding to 400. Okay, for number two, we have 280. So we have 250 here, 260, 270, 280. So we have 280 here. So how, are we closer to 200 or are we closer to 300? We're closer to 300. Also, without using the number line, we can use the arrows as well. And we look at the tens place that is an eight, and we look at our arrow that's an eight, and it's going up. So that's why we round it to 300. So for number three, we have 506. So we have 500, 510. So we can say 506 is around here. So then we're gonna go ahead and say, okay, what is it closer to 500 or is it closer to 600? We're closer to 500, so we're gonna round to 500. Also, we know that our tens is zero, and we know that if it's zero, one, two, three, and four, we're rounding down, so that's why we round it to 500, okay? Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. For example, three, four, and five, go ahead and pause the video and challenge yourself and try to go ahead and do the problems and then press play and see if you got the same answer. If not, where you did your mistake, you can go ahead and see where you did your mistakes, okay? So for number three, we have 87. So we're looking at the tens, so we're gonna look at the eight, okay? So we got 87, so at 50, 60, 70, 80, so maybe 87 is around here, okay? Now, are we closer to zero or are we closer to 100? We're closer to 100, so we're gonna round to 100. And also, how can I do it using the arrows? We look at eight, and we look at the arrow, so it's going up, so we change it to 100. So for 340, we have 100, 300, 310, 20, 30, and 40. So we have 340, okay? So we're gonna look at the fours, which is in the tens place. And what is closer? Is it closer to 300 or is it closer to 400, okay? Once again, we're gonna look at our arrow and we look at four. So four says that we're gonna round down. So instead of being three, 400, we're gonna round down to 300 because it says it's closer to 300 than 400, okay? So for number five, we have 500, I mean, we have 763. We have 550, 560, so maybe around here, we have 763, okay? We look at the tens and we look at that is six. We look at the arrow and six says we're gonna round up. So it's not gonna be 700, it's gonna be 800. So we're gonna round to 800. And you can see also on the number line that it's closer to 800 than 700, okay? If you know any of your friends that need help with this, don't forget to share the video with them. And once again, thank you for watching.